in this rapidly evolving world, office spaces are changing. We recently met with a group of about 100 2020 office users and asked, what office designs are your customers requesting? The two most popular answers were designs with physical distancing and reconfiguration of existing space. Designers need to swiftly meet the needs of businesses seeking to reconfigure their office spaces. In this video, I will show you how 2020 Compare can help office designers meet these business needs. I have three worksheets that represent an existing drawing, customer inventory, and a new drawing. I will open 2020 Compare. 2020 Compare is a standalone program which you can access from the 2020 Technologies folder in the Windows Start menu. You can also access the program in Worksheet, Tools, Compare. Now I can select which worksheets to compare. Multiple files can be compared. For this demonstration, I'm going to add an existing layout worksheet and a customer inventory worksheet that list the products that are on hand. And I will compare those files with a proposed design plan because that contains the items that I want to include in the reconfigured office design. Next, I will choose where I want these files to be saved. Since I am ordering new items, the file name is to order. For items that are in the existing layout that need to be included in the new layout, the file name is reuse and any leftover items will be in my leftover file. The default file save location is in your CAP projects folder. Feel free to change the default file save location. The boxes to obtain SP4 files are checked by default. To see a summary report, select text report or CSV report. In a few moments, I will demonstrate those summary reports. First, I need to select the comparison criteria. In the drop down menu, I can select from the most common comparison criteria. This includes manufacturer plus part number when specific parts are required. I have the choice to also include option number here. Matching options and finishes may be important in some projects, while other projects will require that products be refurbished in which case matching finishes do not matter. If none of these selections fits my needs, however, I can select custom criteria and further refine my results. If a floor plan is tagged with different departments and those are cost centers that maintain separate budgets, I can compare department tags. For this demonstration, I will randomly choose one of the existing selections manufacturer plus part number plus option number. Now I will select how I would like to see my results summarized. The default setting is no report, which means you will not get a summary of the results. I am going to select text report. Once I click on compare, in a few moments, I see a confirmation screen and my summary text report opens in notepad. I can see from my summary report that the worksheet has some unflattened standards. I will compare those files again. Thankfully, I can select to flatten standards in 2020 Compare. I can even flatten panel configs. Flattening standards in panel configs breaks them down into their component parts. This time, I will select CSV report. This report opens in Excel, and now I can see my standard has been flattened so I can order the correct quantity I need of all the components of my standard workstation. After I compare the files, I have a 2020 worksheet file with a product that needs to be ordered. I also have a history of the items that are reusable or left over, so I can continue to manage these products as my client needs. I can open these files by clicking open and selecting all three files. I hope you enjoy using 2020 Compare and find it valuable in helping you meet the needs of your business customers.